apple picking is a fall tradition in New England. Um, I myself have already gone two times this year with plans to go at least one more time when more varieties are ripe. There are so many awesome treats that you can make after you go apple picking with the apples that you pick. And today we're gonna be making apple crisp. Now, the first thing you wanna do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees, which I've already done. Next, you wanna make sure all your apples are washed. Then you wanna peel them and slice them, which I also have already done. Once they look like this, you wanna have about five cups. You either wanna use butter or a cooking spray to butter your baking dish. Then you put your apples in. And you get about one third cup of water to sprinkle on top. This will help keep them moist and help in the oven. All right, we're gonna put that aside so we can make the topping. All right, for the topping, we're gonna need one cup of sugar, three quarters cup flour, and about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna stir all these things together really well. Gonna mix up really good. And then we are gonna add one stick or one quarter pound of softened butter. Okay, now you can use your hands or you can use a pastry blender. I'm gonna use a pastry blender and you wanna really blend the butter and all the dry ingredients together until it resembles coarse crumbs. It does take a little bit of elbow work and the butter gets stuck a little bit in this pastry knife. I like this recipe because it's a lot lighter and crispier than a lot of apple crisp recipes I've tried. It's not as doughy as the typical apple crisp recipes and this is the way that I like it the best. Um, I also prefer to use Cortland or Macintosh apples, but a few other favorites are Granny Smith and Honeycrisp. Um, those are some that I'm hoping to get when I go back again. The first couple times I went, I got a lot of Portland and Macintosh because the Granny Smith and Honeycrisp were not ready yet. All right. Once your topping resembles coarse crumbs like this, you are going to spread it evenly across the top of the apple. All right, we're gonna get it spread out really good. Cover all of the apples. All right. Once it looks like this, you're just gonna go ahead and put it in the oven for approximately 30 minutes or until the top is brown and crispy. So remember, after you go apple picking this year with just apples and a few other simple ingredients that you have at home, like flour, sugar, cinnamon, salt, and butter, you could make a delicious treat like this.